creating a problem statement for your DMAIC project. Now I have a really simple way of putting together problem statements for my DMAIC projects just by using this problem statement generator. So it's a little bit like Mad Libs, since whatever date, the whatever process in the whatever department has not met its goal. Ideally, as you define those goals, you're gonna have measures in there. This has resulted in, and then you're gonna list out all of those different things that it's resulted in. Now this to me is the easiest way to start putting together your problem statement and keeping it really, really simple. Now there are a few things that I'll call out about continuous improvement or DMAIC projects that we wanna make sure that we're focused on in our problem statement, and we're not confusing those with other types of problem statements. So one thing we're always gonna be looking for as a master black belt, that's who I am, I'm a master black belt. Uh, if you are leading others or if you're creating problem statements, there's two things that you can kind of look for that help you gauge whether or not this problem statement is good. So one is, does it state the solution? If it states the solution, then it's not a problem statement in a DMAIC project. It's something where you should just go out and do that solution. You don't need to go through define, measure, and analyze to get to an improvement if you already know what it is. The other thing that tells me it's a good problem statement is if it actually makes me cringe a little, if it actually makes me feel some of the pain of that problem. And so let's look at an example here. This is one from home. So since January of 2022, the washing of dishes in my house has not met its goal of less than 30 minutes per day of hand washing dishes. This has resulted in an extra 15 minutes per day of hand washing, excess hot water costs, a bad attitude around the house, excessive yelling, broken dishes, and customer complaints. Now you may have started feeling some of that frustration if you've ever had challenges around doing dishes in your home, but this is what we wanna see in our problem statement. Very simple, in two sentences, I have a lot of details that help me understand, one, what the goal is that I'm trying to meet that I'm missing, as well as all those impacts that it's having, so why we really wanna change it. Now there is one thing missing here that sometimes people try to put into their problem statements, and that's the context or background. So if you don't have a slide, if you don't have a place where this is called out, then create another paragraph above this where you have one to two sentences that you're giving that context. So that should be that anybody in the world, well, maybe not in the world because language isn't universal, right? Anybody that speaks your language could pick this up and they would be able to read that one to two sentences in your background and understand where this process falls into. So am I at a phone company? Am I at, a, at someone's house? Am I at a government organization, right? Give some context where that process falls within the organization. So anybody could pick it up and go, okay, that's why we care. That's why this is important. And then the other thing that I'll call out is just to keep it short, right? It doesn't need to be really, really long. The simpler you have this, the easier it's gonna be for you as the facilitator. You're gonna continue going back to this over and over and over again. This is your anchor. This is your touchstone through your project. All you have to do in most of your different phases are say, how does this affect our problem statement, right? You can read out that problem statement or have that in there. So how does this relate to hand washing dishes taking too long? So how does this impact hand washing dishes taking too long? right? So you can always go back to this statement. I'd love to hear your statement. So if you can put that in the comments, I'd love to hear, see how this went, if this worked for you. Have a great day. Thanks.